Hide it, Split are a Croatian team that are overshadowed yearly by Dinamo Zagreb or Rijeka. This career mode is about taking Hide it, Split back to the top and to reward some of the most passionate fans in Europe with success and glory in their club. Last time out in the career mode we got promoted to the Prem and we now have been given 65 million to spend on some new signings. So without further ado, let's get on with season 4. Oh yeah, and make sure to subscribe to the channel, it really helps us out. So, this is what the team looks like. Our Youth Academy Keeper has now become our number one, and we're going to be targeting those two centre mid spots to strengthen the squad. So, we've gone out to France, and we've bought Golovin from Monaco for just 19 mil, but with Atanasov heading the other way. And in the second centre mid spot, we've gone and got Zubimendi from Sociedad. So, the team is finished for this campaign. So our right back, Gabrick, he got injured, so I thought, why not try and convert Tuma into a right back? So, he's going under development now. Our weakest spot is our keeper position, but I'm trusting him because he's only 18 and he's 75 rated as an 18 year old, which is really good, and he'll keep on going up. So, we can trust in Drajovic. The rest of the team is solid. Everyone is 80 rated now, and to be honest, we bought Caselli back from loan. Uh, I think he was going to be spending one more year at Celtic, but we could do with him and he's got some really sick stats two midfielders are looking solid cam position vlasic is obviously really really good and obviously we've got gilbert nearly worth 300 mil now so let's get into the season i think we can do well maybe top half i'm gonna predict we're gonna get ninth position all right into the games here we go, we're at the pinnacle of English football, we're in the Premier League and our first game is against Wolves. Dragojevic makes a good save early on and Gilbert was through, he can't finish it off but Vlasic is on the rebounds and it's not a great goal to start it off but they all count. Squares it into the middle, Caselli gets his first goal for Hajduk split and it's 2-0 already. And then, new signing, Zubimendi smacks it with his left foot, his weaker foot, and he's just thundercunted that into the far corner. Look at that, keeper has no chance. That is a great curling finish. Uh, this is the goal we conceded. Absolutely amazing, once again, FIFA proving why it is such a great game. It does me there, the AR has destroyed me, uh, but it's 3-2 and we managed to hold on. Okay, I'm not so sure about this, but I think this might be messy... It, it, it might be his regen. I think it is. I'm going to go check if he's retired. Oh, Messi's still in the game. It might be Di Maria's, actually. Oh. Yeah, it's Di Maria's regen. Now we've got Di Maria's regen on the books. That's a bit crazy. But now we're against Fulham. Ben Yedder now plays for Fulham. That's a good ship, and I had to do that. I just didn't want a red card. That's all I didn't want, and he didn't give it to me. I accepted the penalty. I had to take him out to keep him out. And Ben Yedder misses. Dajovic makes a good save down low on his right. And we've gone away with that. But Ben Yedder was through 10 minutes later. And he got his chance and he finished it off. But we can come back. And Gilbert shows us just why. Just his, He's come on such a long way. His dribbling is actually good. It's responsive now. Look at him go again. He just skirts around the defender so easily and finishes it off very easily as well he's got 99 finishing you can do that Ben Yedda got gets his second but we couldn't get another one Gilbert tried to rescue us but just couldn't get that unfortunate really but to be honest we deserve the draw and now because we are against Arsenal now once again we're at home at the Stadion Polsha Bjork gets away from Tommy Yasu on the left flank gives it to Vlasic who finishes it off very nicely it's a far corner and that is a beautiful ball which Gilbert finishes off. We need to see this ball once again. It's a bit hard to tell, it's a bit hard to tell, but that is a great ball, perfectly weighted to Gilbert who finishes it off, because of course he does, he's got 99 finishing. And now Golovin wants his first goal and he definitely, definitely gets it. We're running havoc around Arsenal and it's not even the end of the first half and Gilbert, he gets his second and that is four in just the first half. But Arsenal, they wanted redemption. Rafa Mir finishes it off just after half time. Then they get a second 10 minutes later. And uh, in the span of just 15 minutes after half time, they came back 4-3. Uh, then it took them another 15 minutes to get their equaliser. I don't really know how he's had a shot inside of our player, but that's annoying. But Gilbert 
gets his head on it and that is an instant response from Heidegg Split and we get the fifth but Arsenal very jammy once again showing us why this game is amazing. Now we're going to switch up competitions we're still at the home ground but we're against Chelsea in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. Gilbert gets through early on and of course he's going to finish it off. A great low driven shot into the bottom corner. Caselli was through and he squares it to Vlasic who finishes it off 2-0. And Chelsea got one back here but it wasn't enough and we were through to the final. Against Everton in the Carabao Cup final, Caselli got through early on and finished it off. Put us in a good place going into the 20th minute. He's, he's, he's been quality. He's been amazing this year. Uh, but Everton, they got one back with Nunes. Uh, just three minutes later, Gilbert gets away from his man. And the angle is against him and Lavakovic saves. Vlasic was through and then he finished it off. We're ahead again. 33 minutes, but... Everton came back in a good save from our keeper. Gilbert got through again. End of the 30th minute. Boom. 3 1. We're doing well. We're running wing, wing, wings around Everton. Bjork got one as well just before half time. 4 1. But they got one back a few minutes after half time. Gilbert has a tight angle once again, but this time he doesn't put a foot wrong and he finishes it off. Everton. Then got one back with Sola, but it wasn't enough. It was 3-5 in the end, and we came off victorious. Our first major trophy. We've won the Carabao Cup, the League Cup, whatever the fuck you want to call it. We've won it. All we need to do now is win the Prem. All we need to do now is win the Champions League. But we're into the Conference League for next season. Heidegg split. It's our first big trophy, and Vlasic lifts it up. And we're doing well at the moment. We've only got three games left. And they're probably the hardest games we could have had. Man United, Chelsea. First, third. I don't think it looks good. But to be honest, we won the Carabao Cup. Which means that we we, we, we are in the Conference League next season. Right? We're having our first European campaign. No matter what happens. I mean, we're chilling in 10th. We've got 54 points. We could technically get 7th or 6th. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, if we manage to get three wins out of the last three, that would be insane. But I think we're going to have to try and contend for eighth place and settle for tenth because, I mean, we can't really be overtaking that. So I'm just going to sim it. Um, if we do get into a position where we could potentially win it on the final day, then I'll go into that and play that game. But... I mean, I'm not expecting anything against Man United. Look at this team, by the way. This looks, this is an amazing team. I'm loving that Caselli. It, it, the best thing that could have happened is ending him on loan. The best thing that could have happened. And, oh God. Okay. Okay, let's see how the results from the other games happen. Boom, just like that, Newcastle, they lost their game. We jumped up. Oh, Liverpool got a win, which means, Oh, we can't. We, we actually can't get 7th now. Ah, well done, boys. Well done, well done. Alright, we might as well just stick it out and just, just, just sim the final two games. See how we do. If we manage to get two wins, then that would be pretty cool. Uh, how do we do? We drew. Okay. I think that's Pads' first goal. I th I'm not too sure. That might have been his first goal. Uh, just check out the stats. Kilbert, 25 goals. Pretty disappointing campaign, actually. 49 appearances, only 25 goals, and he's 96 rated. I don't know what it is, but to be honest, that's still insane. <laughs> that is still insane, and he is still 96 rated. Obviously, his dribbling could be a bit better, but to be honest, it's pretty damn good. And his finishing is second to none. It is probably the best sh sh shooting in the entire game. Who am I going for a complete striker? Get that composure up, because uh, he's bottled a lot of chances in front of goal. I think he could do with a bit of composure boost. But to be honest, I'd probably go for Poacher next, get that agility up, and boom. He's actually becoming a bit more mobile as a striker. Vlasic, once again, having a good campaign, 22 goals. Bjuk, 
14 goals, 12 assists, very impressive. And Caselli has had a good season coming back. He scored a few goals in the um, in the Carabao Cup Finals. He has been pretty good. And Tuma, I've been really happy uh, with him. He's gone into right back and he's a beast. He's an absolute beast. You know what? Last hope, last last wish. Can we please snatch eighth away from Everton on the final day of the season? Uh, it'd be nice. It'd be nice to get a little eighth place in our first Premier League campaign. And it's going to be a 2-2, so we bottled it. Unless Everton lost, that would be success if they lost. Everton won. Alright, we're going to have to accept ninth place in our first Premier League season. I can't lie, that is pretty impressive. And we won the Carabao Cup, which means we're in the Conference League for next season. League was boring, um, Man City won. Actually, it wasn't really boring. Top four separated by two points. That's a very close title race. Uh, nine goals separated. Alright, so aims for next season. So, I don't know. I think at this point, we've probably got to strength the, strengthen the bench um, more than add players to the squad. That is what adding players to the squad is. I think the aims for next season is going to be maybe getting a new keeper because Dra Dragoljevic went on loan because he can go up some more ratings and Posifek is still pretty decent as a backup so I think we'll keep him for the bench but this bench could be a lot better Levaya he's good and uh, we at least have either Paz or Biuk uh, chilling on the bench but I'm happy going into next season we've got a crazy good manager rating they've even said well done Hydex split career mode we're gonna focus on that for now and uh, the other the other series will follow shortly Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've made it all the way here, subscribe to the channel. I love you very much if you have made it here. Comment down below as well. All right, goodbye.